He thinks it's bolder if we work together. Would anyone care to push? Need to check these blue minerals. What are they? Thank you, Peach. Appreciate it. I'll get that for you. Magics have faded. It must be recast. Look at that guy butchering ham. Sir! What did the ham do to you? Oh. 
Those hams are innocent. Now I have to eat all of them. This wound is proof of my negligence. Go back, and I will heal you with my magic. Won't like that. Let my magic heal your weapon with the fury of the elements. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Ooh, token. we'd find one here a splendid discovery ha huh? i'll have to remember to tell my own master about this pack grow over the fall have no fear i'll lighten your load by spreading it out among really? us pawns. that's your really that's your thing no way that's pretty cool i got you by a place I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Oh, did it pertain to the Queen Regent and an important personage? Indeed. Some suppose there is to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. So are these materials? Wait, I can see what they are. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Well fought, Arisen. An unlikely location for a path. Mayhap it leads to hidden point of pleasure. Okay, keep your wits about you. We needn't go barging in. You are in need of me. Allow me. Wait right there. So if I ever need something, I can go get it. I shall be proud to serve you, Arisen. place to harvest some ingredients 
We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. This is better than mine. There's the two-hander. I haven't sold it. Okay, I can return it now. I thought I sold it because in one save where I was messing around, I sold it. How do I look with this? <laughs> clear, I mean, hey, this gives you more protection, right. okay? And it looks good. Being at our destination, so I'll hold off on guiding. Or should us I give this to now? Peach? The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. Should I give this to Peach? But then it won't have any effect because she's uh, a mage. <laughs> I'll carry it for a while. Well, I'll be good on you, sir. I expect these goblins are feeling mighty sore right now. Have you been to see Klaus yet? You'll be able to have him change your vocation. I appreciate you stopping by, but a lone weapon. Go on. I want off with you. arrows. All. Note, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Yeah, YouTube will Good allow tidings, this. Sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Present the weapon. There you go. Marvelous. You have acquired both an archer staff and a great sword. You may now change your vocation as desired, sir. What's more, I bear glad tidings. Would seem our arms shortages at an end. I dare say the armory will be resupplied anon. This ladder can take us to new heights. Ah, oh, excellent find. Gonna go sleep in the house to make a hard save. We must rest. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. I need to get some clothes for Peach to make her more... you know. Make her more peachy. 
somehow my feet always carry those I best get to work. Or to polish up my gear tomorrow. But then again, as they say, I'm gonna be peachy. For peach. Let's see. I say? That's a relief. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Uh, magistrate. A place with books likely to entice Magistrate Waldo, you say? Not springs to mind, I'm afraid. Kendrick of the gracious hand is versed in many things. Perchance he knows Kendrick? of such a place? Okay. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your false majesty's sovereign? claim, as a, have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? I do. This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces. And all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill would prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, your majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. That thief maester Dragon's gaze. Sort. I'd wait. If you use the item known as Dragon's Gaze, Wakestone, shards will be displayed on the map. Bear in mind, however, that the number of the, and the location of the shards can be found will change over time. Collect three Wakestone shards and they will combine into a Wakestone, a powerful artifact that can restore life to the fallen. Yeah, this will make luck. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Tell me of the magistrate. A place with books likely to entice Kendrick of the gracious is it all else you would speak of. Do not forget. I that don't want to get that quest yet. Oh yeah, the girls did mention the guy in slums. Before I do that, I'm sure the beggar quest is complete. Let's find the wife. Looks as long as you garments you gave me had a marked effect. Albert set off to work the moment he saw them, and he's been working steadily ever since. I ne'er thought I'd see the day. To be frank, I've not the slightest interest in the man, but he can surely benefit this city much more by performing an honest duty than by begging on the streets. In short, you've done us all a service. Pray, allow me to show my appreciation. Nice. I got three onyx. Visit, visit Melvi? Melv? 
Let's see this one. Then I can go to Melv. This development differs greatly from any in my recollection. Now that is a surprise. You like the voice? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. What should we do? The heavens have forsaken us. All is lost. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Give food. Beast. Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Ah, hold on a moment, Sir Arisen. Perchance you would be willing to aid me with another matter. You see, one of the children we care for here at the Gracious Hand has gone missing. Malcolm, his name is. He's a steady lad. I can't imagine he would have run away. This building's very old. It could be that he's found himself in some strange corner of it. Might I impose on you to search for him? I suppose it goes without saying that our first step ought to be gathering information. Right you are. Simple conversation oft reveals what a week of searching never could. Whom shall we speak with first? Business could be better, but I'm scraping by. Might I beg but a moment of your time? Good day, sir. Might I beg but a moment of your time? Today, I chanced to see a most resplendent ox cart on the high road. Now, that's not so strange, but guess who I saw riding in it? Poor little Daphne. I doubt with my eyes I did. And rightly so, as it turned out to be a young boy. The resemblance was so uncanny I mistook him for her. Gave me a right shock, let me tell you. Odd to think a young noble should so closely mirror a girl of the slums. Their faces may match, but the lives they lead are as different as night and day. Aye, it is a cruel world we inhabit. How about you? Have you someone to care for? This looks as good a place as any. Malcolm's been really into exploring of late. Just the other day, he was going around telling anyone who'd listened about how he was an ox hair away from making some big discovery. Malcolm? All he's doing of late is picking through rubble. I don't know why he bothered. My head hurts just thinking about it. What to do? Well, I have no mother or father to speak of, you see. So the nice people at the Gracious Hand take care of me. I wanted to get them a present to say thank you, 
and I thought a bunch of flowers would be just the thing. Now, the problem is, I can't seem to find any good ones. Do you think you could help me? All I need is a bunch of pretty flowers. Sure. For true. Thank you ever so much, Arisen. I'm sure you'll find the prettiest flowers that ever were. enough all this hustle and bustle puts me right in there's a ladder here oh excellent find Is any quest timed? No. found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Unless I'm very much mistaken, we've got just what we need tucked away in storage. True. I do have flowers in the storage. But... What if I do this? With this? There we go. We have obtained a bunch of flowers as Miss Daphne requested. Now we have but to deliver it to her. I did. There you go. Oh, just look at them. They're the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. <laughs> These should brighten the sisters' days. Say, would you mind terribly if I asked you another no. favor? No. Ask away. See, one of my friends taught me a magic spell. It's supposed to let you meet whomever you like. All you have to do is find a silver stone, put it under your pillow, and say the magic words. But there's the problem. I've been looking all over for such a stone, and I can't find one anywhere. Would you find a silver stone and bring it to me, Arisen? Accept. For true. I knew I could count on you, Arisen. I'll be waiting. Our next mission is to acquire a silver stone. Mayhap silver ore will serve. We can purchase it or mine it up ourselves. I quite agree. I'll go mine it. Or my, I mean, my home is here. Mm -hmm. Hello. What's got you in such a good mood? Do tell.
always quiet about. Oh, I can't find a silver stone anywhere. Have you fared any better? Oh, just look how it shines. Thank you ever so much. Say, aren't you curious who I want to meet? Well, I'll tell you. My mother and father. I don't even know what they look like, you know. Not to say I'm unhappy at the gracious hand, of course. But I'd really like to meet them, even just once. I want to tell them how grateful I am that they gave me life. Oh, it's so shiny. Oh, hi, Arisen. You'll help me again if I need it, won't you? Please say yes. Man, what a nice girl. Wow. Miss Daphne seemed pleased with our efforts. Mayhap we ought to pay her another visit sometime soon. I quite agree. Was I lacking in devotion? This world is cruel, and my lot in it unfair. I wonder what it was Malcolm found. Who might have the answers we need? Should we ask around? Might I beg but a moment of your time? Is Malcolm all right? We were supposed to go exploring together, but I overslept and he went without me. Wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Oh no, I wasn't meant to tell anyone that. I suppose we'll be wanting to report back now. exactly let us return to sir kendrick for chance he will know more ah oh, yes i know just where to find this person follow me vaults you say by my knowledge they were sealed off ah but you mentioned rubble aye then perhaps the lad found a way through come i fear there's not a moment to lose pray follow me and quickly I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. To charge ahead may be to rush headlong into danger. Let us take care to move as one. We'll manage. Whatever comes, we always do, don't we? Welcome. Thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick, you'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. Truly, perhaps we ought to take a look. Shall we follow, Master? You have my support. Now what's that ring?
boosts magic defense. Where it takes more damage from ranged attacks from behind, but less if hit from the front. Fire attacks, fire attacks, strike attacks. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Heavens above! Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. Tis quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. Tis a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? It's near boggles the mind that so impressive an archive slumbered here. It is surely any scholar's dream. I suppose tis so. This place is amazing. I knew I'd find something down here. I never expected this. Visibility is poor here. Be wary of enemies lying in ambush. Keep your eyes peeled. These writings could be of import. Shall we take a closer look? Tension twixt Vermin and Batal reached their peak 40 years ago when both nations were devastated by prolonged bout of bad weather that resulted in successive crop failures. Hard times turned the starving populace against one another, eventually culminating in a desperate clash of several hundred soldiers, though it produced no victors, resulting only in more meaningless deaths. Upon the site of this battle now stands a cenotaph, a memory of the fallen. In memory of fallen. What about this hole? Human bones that move on their own? Let my magic draw you an elemental boost.
can't count the number of meats and fish that have gone to rot in my pack. You'd think the smell would remind me. Ah, yes. That sounds familiar. Can go tell the guy about library. We shall remain here. Excuse me. Have you found some place I might sate my scholarly curiosities? Oh, to think such a place existed. How oh, very curious. Guide me outside, then. If you can deliver me from this pit, I ought to be able to find the rest of the way on my own. telling him oh, good you return I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight surely telling him isn't a bad choice I this should be far enough my thanks if you truly are arisen then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe words may be wind but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you've the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you. Report back. Huzzah! We must inform Captain Brant at once. Here, if you please. Lady, I need to sleep till midnight. Let me see the quests. Oh, before I, def before I finish that quest... Let's see this one. Go back to the village. Where's the... the cart? I can doze off. This ox cart's bound for Mel. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. What ought I to do? That's quite enough. Oh, oh, get up, get up. Spice is not a threat to it. We may have to rethink our strategy. I grant you four in place. Point of view, my dear. Can we see how high I can scale? Well said.
Crow's worthy. We ought to say how our best would be. It seems we have enraged our foe. Might we not leave their range to our advantage? My pleasure, well Miles. Can't say I have any tidings to share. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. When tarred, be sure to avoid open flame. Can I doze off? It's fine, I can doze off. There we go. carts make for relatively safer travel they can be most convenient though they only travel during the day Much obliged, sir. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Ere since the reign of Rathais, the founder of Vermund, the village of Malv has played an indispensable role in the defense of our kingdom against the dragon. Yet twice now, as the dragon set upon this village, inflicting numerous casualties, before being allowed to flee, the fault here lies with you, Ser Ulrika. You have failed in your duty as acting chief. With all due respect, Sir Martin, our village has dispatched many of its young hands to the northern stronghold since its completion. Was it not the former consul who decreed that the stronghold should serve to defend the kingdom, with Melv offering aid only where needed? Yet the stronghold has remained entirely silent to our plight. How can you say that the fault is ours to bear? I know of no such agreement. At the very least, Queen Regent Deesa has mentioned naught of the kind. But I'm quite sure the Consul... You would dare misrepresent the words of the dead? Or do you mean to imply that the Queen Regent has spoken falsely? If so, then Melv's problems ran far deeper than I had thought. Tis not indolence that has taken root here, but treason! The village and Tyre will answer for this. What? I intended nothing of the sort. Pray, let us... Save your honeyed words, traitor. I must inform the Queen Regent of this development. You came to see me? Forgive me, I've much to ponder. Still, how would you like to stay the night? I've yet to repay you for aught you've done for me. A small show of hospitality is surely the least oh. I can do. It was by your godly efforts that Malv escaped the worst of the dragon's assault. The people of this village are more precious to me than life itself. To lose them would have been the end of me. You have my 
earnest gratitude. Friend zoned. <laughs> I wanted to tell you that, if not else. Oh, maybe friend here means something else. Now, it is time oh. you slept. There is much to be done for the village, and I shan't manage it without a good night's sleep. Wait, what? What type of we slept? I even had my pants ready. Now. Where is Ulrika? The Queen Regent has declared that Ulrika be apprehended as a traitor to the kingdom. All who seek to abet her will be tried in turn. Bring- Ulrika is gone. What? She stole away in the dead of night. Ask around. Several witnesses can confirm it. I cannot say why for certain, but I imagine she took your words to heart, Overseer. Realizing her plans for rebellion had been found out, she chose to abandon the village for our sake. You would have me believe that Ulrika was acting alone? That the rest of the villagers harbor no rebellious intent? Aye, that's the long and short of it. Very well. I shall take you at your word, sir. However, the absence of a leader will sow naught but chaos. For the time being, your village will be in our hands. If tis as you say, I do not expect there will be any objections. Ah, there you are. There's aught I would ask of you. It concerns Ulrika. You've heard she fled the village, I, Though that is the case, she would never truly abandon it. She left the village that she might fulfill her charge, protecting Vermont against the dragon. But as for where she went, I do not know. It would be unwise for me to go looking for her, lest I draw the eyes of the Overseer's troops. However, should you happen to find her, would you tell me where she is hiding? I can only pray that she does not fall into the Queen Regent's clutches. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. How might I aid you, sir? Do you know where she went? Do you know where she went? Know you of the brine? Shallow waters are safe, but ventures becoming a feast for the brock. Okay, we shall find Ulrika when it is time. Oh, I have a selection of wares. Till then, I ought to do some other quests. 20 arrows from this guy. Whoa. Order, please. Hope to see you again. I dare say you don't belong here. This ox cart's bound for Burnworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Slow. 
people in pickings of late. I'm stuck to the passenger company. Well. No We're setting out. Jump on if you paid. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Awesome. Are you in the market for something in particular? I sure am. Always a pleasure. No, I'm gonna sleep to make a hard save. Where are you going? And also need nighttime. And then it's uh, time for main quest. Shall we get some rest then? Open your eyes, everyone. It is dark out, but our day begins. Step lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Okay, this quest, let's finish it. It seems Magistrate Wardor has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap to be prudent to visit man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom. He might have knowledge that could benefit you on your travels. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? No. Fine. I thank you. Pray. Take this. Consider it remuneration for your majesty's efforts. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Tell me of rumors about Allard. I bear word from Regent Ken Sven, your majesty. He espied the delivery of a suspicious package to a man named Allard. A minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's staunchest and most powerful allies in the palace. From the pains he took to remain on scene. It is plain that Allard wished this delivery kept away from prying eyes. That alone is reason to suspect a connection to Deezer's schemes. We must get to the bottom of it. The Regent Kin intends to call Allard to his chambers come nightfall. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the Minister's chambers and see if there's aught to be learned. What say you, Your Majesty? Are you willing to undertake this task? Accept. I shall ensure that the door to the minister's chambers is open between midnight and dawn. Pray. Use that time to infiltrate and uncover aught worthy of suspicion. I am confident we shall see this matter to a successful conclusion. It would seem we have a need to visit the palace.
There's a ladder here. After you arisen. Those new recruits could barely lift their swords. Do you know how long you You are the arisen. Yes? The captain gave me your description. Follow me. Let's go. the guards spy you I will be forced to play my part pray be cautious your majesty would be more careful. He takes the sentinel posted outside his chamber. Do you recall that package from Batao I delivered to Minister's chambers last week? Well, just between you and me, I blundered and nearly tipped the contents out onto the floor. You should have heard the charging ammo came in. I was so furious, you'd think I'd killed someone. Mark my words, there's more to that package than meets the eye. Environment. The one with the power to overcome the dragon known as the Arisen is enthroned as sovereign. While in Batal, the protection of the lambent flame is held as absolute, believed to prevent the advent of calamity. Cur curiously, the two nations are at odds regarding pawns. Those crossers of the rift, in Vermont, they are deemed faithful attendants of the sovereign, while, while in Batal, they are viewed as harbinger of misfortune. What business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour? I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the regent kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet, but at least he knows what's good for him. M my lord, if someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Now, if Wilhelmina calls, tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently. More 
secrets. I love it. Surely none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the sovereign. Indeed. But that, your grace, would be better discussed in the presence of your mother. Well, well. We meet again. Is this stealthy business becoming a habit of yours? Oi! Who goes there? Now, this just won't do. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, Lady Wilhelmina. Mm-hmm. Do excuse us. We thought to enjoy a little fresh air. Though, we had hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady. But might I ask the name of your companion? Are you sure it would be wise? Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Ah, uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. Hmm. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. Thank you. Is that all you have to say for yourself? Tis sweet of you to mind your manners, but such niceties won't get you far with me. Something tells me this shan't be the last I see of you. Perhaps you'll be good enough to repay me when next we meet. Off you go now. If you wish to speak further, twill have to wait. This is neither the time nor the place for it. It seems you've made a discovery regarding the false sovereign. much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. So the acting chief of Melv was blamed. I suspect this is some ploy of the queen regent and her ilk, to lay claim to the village territory. However, I've heard no report of her capture as of yet. It may well be that she is safe. Perchance, she has fled somewhere outside of Deesa's reach. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Allard. Take this. I know this sigil well. Tis the crest of the neighboring country of Batal. A land with which Vermin has no official dealings at present. Let me see. It reads, True to our word, we offer you the power of the Godsway. Pray make haste in securing Melv, that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meager clue, 
to be certain. Though, it is clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermont and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, to seem our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it. And ere it slips my mind, pray, take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this phaser's fellow. But what precisely is their aim? So what's this? Increases the maximum weight. Awesome. Shall we pay Miss Daphne another visit? I find myself wondering how the young lass Oh, wears. really? Yeah, maybe it's time to visit her. Follow me, Master, a few words. I'll bring you to the one you seek. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Our road was a long one, but here we are at last. Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ever since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel, but you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. What should I want to do? What? Hoy arisen! Say, have you heard about the state of the river? Do you know the river close by the church? Well, it's come to be full of muck and filth and all sorts that's a problem for the church as it draws from the river to make holy water the water's so filthy that it's going to take twice the amount of gold ore to purify it i was thinking you could help the priests by finding some gold ore after all it wouldn't be good for anyone if the church ran out of holy water except <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Thanks ever so much. I'll help too. I'll look for gold ore every place I can think of. Now we see gold ore. Though it is sold in shops, mining some ourselves might prove the better choice. quite agree I'm gonna mind that not giving mine to break the law is to be thrown in jail I've heard that jailers are paid a pittance 
despite the hardships of their work. Then a bribe might avail us, should the time come. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. recall leaving just such an item in storage. generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Not a foe in sight. I'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day. This simplifies things. Our task is nearly done. We ought to make the delivery now. Lest it should end up lost or misplaced. I quite agree. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. Let us ponder how best to proceed. Ah, now here's a surprise. At least all our efforts weren't for naught. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. A hidden path? I suppose there will be monsters lurking beyond it. in this party are women all. And yet no two of us are the same. <laughs> Travelling beyond the rift, I came upon a cave whose secrets you have yet to discover. It is nearby. Shall I lead the way? I'd wager we've plenty of gold ore. Shall we deliver it to Miss Daphne? A person of import, I take it. Very well. I will lead the way. The guide is man dead! Flame is its weakness! Let my magic grant you an elemental room. Hold a moment. Haven't we already found what's being asked of us here? Hmm. 
such a magnificent tapestry of stars. You have my support. was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Might I interest you in my humble... I'll buy some gold for myself. You know what? I'll buy all of this for myself. Just in case. Yeah. Yes. Hope to see Thank you, you again. Our packs are heavier and our purses far lighter. We've a journey to prepare for after all. We can't afford to cut corners. My gratitude. I've been meaning to thank you. Here.
This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. What to make of this? We're going this way now, I suppose. By your will. Tis not for us to gain Savior Risen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. Boy, you risen. Have you found any gold ore yet? I sure did. Wow! This'll be plenty, I reckon. Thank you ever so much. Listen, I was talking to the priests, and apparently our troubles aren't over yet. Would you be willing to lend us a hand again, Arisen? Just one more time. Thanks. So, remember how I told you about the river by the church getting all mucky? Well, the grown-ups are saying it's gotten worse. Now lots of people who live nearby are falling sick. The priests have been treating everyone as best they can, but there's nowhere near enough medicine to go round. I want to help them, but I'm not sure what I can do. Apart from ask you, that is. Would you bring us some more medicine, Arisen? Oh, thanks, Arisen. What would we do without you? I'll talk to the priests in the meantime, see if there's anything useful I can do. Now, we've need of medicine. We can purchase it at shops, or make some ourselves by combining the ingredients. Violin. Treating blight. This looks as good a place as any. Hoy, Arisen! Have you brought any medicine with you? Blighted Delibitation. She wants five. Not yet. Fair. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? So I'm going to need one more for the quest. Okay, let's check out some shops. Right. 
Thanks, that fellow. I've clean forgotten. I wonder what rooms the moral is doing. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Fewer monsters are to be found on the main road, though carts travel only by the sun's light. Come take a look. You'll be glad you did. It. Ooh, he has a new bow. Well, look at that. It's time for a new bow. And hands. Yes, please. Chopper horn. Hmm. He also has new staff. Peach, you're gonna get it soon. I promise. Always I wasted, a wasted my money on the. Uh... Have we any gold left after that extravagance? Hey. No sense ruining the cost. Hey, hey. Such purchases are a given on an adventure as important ladies? as ours. Ladies? Ladies? Look, even the quiver changes with the bow. Look at that horn quiver. That's so cool. That's so cool. Welcome to pure and quality is what you need if you want to survive. I like this one for Peach. So if all you check the price, just remember, hope to see you again. Might as well take a look while you're here, right? So, I need... Blighted. There we go. I need five. Hey, stop by again, Sue. This should be plenty. I'll take it to the church straight away. It is a goodly deed we've done aiding the sick. I only hope our efforts go a ways toward improving life in the slums. Right you are. Awesome. So I have this now. And this. 
That guy told me to visit the... To visit Melv. I mean, let's try to visit it, I guess. I can also sleep to save the game and then we press on. We must rest. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. Ah, oh, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. You think, Peach? My hapa really would have been better off. I'll make a living if I get myself injured. This ox cart's bound. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Not good will come of this. If you're in need of a ride, it is now or now. Answers here. If I could, I never leave. I've got to be on the other side now. I've got to keep moving. I'm in no hurry to leave. Do you know where she went? Looking for work. Oh, you! Uh, I have a selection of wait, work. wait, you have 20 arrows. Let's go. Maximum capacity reached. <laughs> What's the maximum? Is that sure to please? What's the maximum? Max held. Pleasure doing business. So, how many arrows? 99. Let's go. Oh, 
I can't complain, really. Here to ask all of me, are you? So where could she have gone? I've a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Maybe she went there? To another settlement? Maybe there? Because that's the village I freed. Let's go there first. Then I'll try the other one. Or maybe she's in a cave. Where is that fine gentleman? Maybe he can tell me something. He was at the tavern. Or maybe he's here now. In the important house. There he is. My peace of mind depends upon your kindness, friend. Pray inform me if you find Ulrich. I can only hope she remains safe and that the Queen mm -hmm. reaches. Okay. My knowledge from other worlds tells me that a forgotten rift stone lies near here. Shall I lead the way? Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. You've been doused in oil! You must steer clear of fire! Goodness. We're higher up than I thought. Take care not to fall. We ought to proceed with caution. Compares to the thrill of victory, one cannot help but feel indomitable. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Thank you. 
have us press on without delay. By your will arisen. Not bad. Nice to meet you, say so. Splendid. Let my magic imbue you your weapon with the fury of the elements. Another statue? May have to yield us sort of use. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. <laughs> There's no need to make it. We've energy enough to press on for a while. Ooh, beetle. Turn once we've grown tired from our labor. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. went here let's go knowledge about that quest as yet. If you require guidance, you must hire a pawn who does. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the matter at hand. Perhaps we should have a more knowledgeable pawn join our party. I really like this white haired pawn. Really like her.
Spotted. Most impressive. Is that for Peach? What was that? Such a thing escaped my master's notice entirely. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. I'll gather this. It might be of use. These Token. really are hidden awesome. in the most unlikely places, aren't they? A splendid discovery. Interesting. And there's I the camp. Fantastic. To inform my own master of this. This is... Oh, the thrilling. I... Okay, that's where I started the game, right? Let's go there. See what's up. 